Hi, we're back and uh, hopefully this will be a lot quicker than the other video that I did as I brought forth a uh, another or a character uh, for what I hope will be a playthrough. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> um, but at the moment I'm just running through a character uh, that's going to assist my main character. And so that character's name which is pathetic that I keep on forgetting. Um, Carmaril. I'll have to put kind of cue papers up. Carmaril. So Carmaril is our main character and uh, there's another video out there. Uh, and uh, she is an elf of Linden. Uh, she has uh, cultural blessing of a magical success. She's around 150-ish. Um, frugal, uh, fair, merry, and folklore with strider distinctive features. Her patron is Seerdin. Uh, this is going to be a solo play. Uh, Shadow Path is wandering madness because she is a messenger. And... Uh, and uh, her strength is uh, target number 13, heart is 16, wits is 11, and uh, endurance is 25, hope is 10, and parry is 19. Uh, she's uh, favored in awareness, uh, song, uh, travel, healing, courtesy, and persuade. And that is because uh, she has those extra two because... Her mastery is favored in persuade and awareness, and her so that's her virtue. Uh, and her reward was a fell bow, and that puts her up from a 14 injury rating up to a 16 injury rating. And she is proficient with a two in bow and a one in swords. And she has expensive clothing as well, uh, which kind of fits in with that fair and merry uh, demeanor. So that's our main character. What is our roll-up character? So I'm going to try not to show you the top of my head constantly, uh, but at this time I'm going to flip over here and we're going to roll as much as possible. So obviously for skills and choosing skills, I will roll pretty much everything and then I'll choose the skills uh, based around the rolls. I'm not going to roll the skills. That would be uh, crazy. So we're going to get a d6 and I think for this one I'm going to use the uh, I'm going to use the new d6 instead of the older uh, previous iteration. Uh, and so we're going to roll our free league d6 and see what we get. Now if we get an Elf of Linden, we're going to skip over that. So, um, if we get a, a three on the dice, so if we get a three, what we will do is we will then roll uh, to see uh, the other kind of expanded races uh, like Bornings and stuff like that. Let's see what we get. So let's hope that we don't get a three. So here we go. Five. It's a man of Brie who's following her around. So uh, uh, we're going to open up our sheet here. I'm going to try to open this in my PDF viewer. And there we go. So again, we're going to go over to this wonderful section for the heroic cultures, men of Brie. Now, I thought to myself, maybe what we should do is instead of doing all of this with the derived stats, we should use the, um, the document that came in for character life paths. And so men of Brie, we have, uh, we have six options for the men of Brie. And so this is a supplement uh, that came, uh, Character Life Paths. Uh, if you had the um, 
if you did the uh, Kickstarter. And so let's go for it. So we're going to roll the same dice. We're going to see what we get and we'll take it from there. Oh, six. So, um, Gate Warden. Okay, so this is pretty cool. So this is a Gate Warden. So that's the backstory. So the heroic culture is uh, men of Bree uh, and I guess that we just look down and see what it has to say. So I'm going to lift this up so that it's at least easier for you and for me to see you. Uh, uh, so, uh, Gate Warden, uh, great care is kept in the Bree land to keep out uh, out of its borders, anyone or anything that would make trouble. In addition to your ordinary job, you serve as one of the gate wardens uh, and spent many cold, lonely nights on watch with only the stars and hooting owls for company. Uh, your strength is two, your heart is six, and your wits are six. Ooh, not very strong. So we did roll this, so... We are going to stick with it regardless. Two, uh, right, two. Heart is six and wits are six. So a smart person, but not overly strong. We are going to then look at the favored skill, which is insight. And that's just one option. It's just bang, insight. Um, and the distinctive features are inquisitive and patient. All right, so that's pretty cool. Um, and we've got all of that stuff. Now, I don't think that there's anything else in that section. So we'll go back to Minibri and see if there's anything else that I should be thinking about. So let's get the target number. So we're going to use the 18, which is for Strider mo mode. And so we're going to take that down from 18 to 16 for strength. For heart, we're going to go down to 12 and wits to 12. So there we go. Endurance. Endurance, as I recall, is plus 20. So we've got an endurance of 22. Not great. Heart. Uh, uh, heart is plus 10. Uh, so, uh, that gives this person a 16. We don't know if it's male or female. And for parry, uh, we're going to do wits plus 10. So that's 16 as well. There you go. All right. So that's pretty cool. And then we're going to look at the skills for the men of Bree and we're going to pop populate this. So, Athletics is one, Awareness is one, Hunting is one, Song is one, and Craft is two. So one, 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 and two, which sadly is in kind of this person's worst column strength. In Heart, it is a two, one, two, so two, one, two, and then for healing, there's nothing. Courtesy is three. So equally as courteous as our uh, female hero. And we have persuade it to. And then we have stealth, scan, explore it one. And riddle it two. So those are uh, this person's kind of starting stuff. The standard of living is common. Uh, the age of this person. <sighs> well, it's a man or a woman. Um, Eighteen plus a die roll. 18 plus 3, 21. Uh, all right. So, 
Um, distinctive feature. Did we do a distinctive feature? Yes, inquisitive and patient. Uh, and uh, we need to determine if it's a male or female. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Wow. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Why? Why do these odd numbers make it so that there's like 20, 20 names or some die roll that you can kind of do? Uh, all right. So, uh, I don't know how to figure that one out. Uh, I don't know. Uh, three. Uh, uh. All right. So I've got to figure out a male name. Let's figure out what the sex is. So, uh, One, two, three, female, four, five, six, male. Oh, four. Male. Wait. <laughs> I'm not gonna rewind to see what I said. <laughs> Short term memory <sighs> sucks when you get older. Um, I know you're all screaming saying, yeah, that's what it is. Uh, did I say female first and then male? Yeah, I think so. I think it's men. <laughs> so it's a man. All right. Uh, male name. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17. I'm not going to name it Alfred, Artie, or Bill. So let's just roll 3d6. Let's, let's just roll 3d6 and doesn't that give me a kind of weights it doesn't it eight herb knob oh gosh giles all right giles what's his Last name. It's 26. Okay, so I'm using my D24. 14. One, two. Hedgedon. Giles Hedgedon. Giles Hedgedon. I can live with that. All right. So there we go. Giles Hedgedon. So Giles Hedgedon is a man of Brie. His cultural blessing is Brie blood. And what does Brie blood do? Increases the fellowship rating by one point. Well, we're not really using the fellowship rating. Um, but I think that that fellowship rating is just going to end up kind of um, thrown into kind of uh, questing. Um, uh, and I don't want them both to be each other's fellow fellowship. So we're going to play by the, or I'm going to play by the strider rule. So, uh, Plus one fellowship. There we go. All right. The calling. Um, well, the calling is distinctive, isn't it? Um, this is a background. So I think that you still have to choose. So the backstory is a gate warden. So obviously, I would imagine that the calling would be warden. And that just makes sense, right? I mean, it just wouldn't make sense otherwise to kind of roll on that. Uh, I mean, if I rolled, you get a four, which is a scholar. No, it just, no, it is going to be a warden. All right, so, uh, warden, yeah. All right, so, uh, favored skills. 
Now, did we choose favorite skills? No, we didn't. So the favorite skills are going to be awareness, healing, insight. Well, he's already got insight, so awareness and healing. And that's, there we go. Um, all right. Additional distinctive feature is shadow lore. All right, so shadow lore. And I guess um, it's the path of despair for the shadow path. Um, and I'm gonna mark down despair, because that's just... So the patron, I'm, I'm gonna leave that blank, because somehow or other this person is not Kind of independent, so it's kind of Sirden. Um, but I'm going to leave that blank. There's no uh, features, so we we are going to need to kind of figure out what is. Oh, all right. So let's just go back to the Bree guys. Uh, axes or spears? Oh, axe. Oh, I should roll, shouldn't I? Axe or spear. Uh, all right, let's 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 try to remember this. Uh, one, two, three is axe. Four, five, six is spears. Oh, it's damn spears. All right, so spears. Uh, so spears gets two. And choose one other combat proficiency. I... I think I'm going to go for the axe. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go for the axe. All right. So that's that. There's a major events uh, table, and I'm tempted to roll on the major events table, but it, it, it could have dire consequences. So I'm not too sure if I want to do that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just put this to the side and get back to some of the stuff that needs to be thought of. So I'm going to consult here. Yeah, we've chosen all of that stuff. We've gone now, we're now at the spending of experience. So we've got 15 points, but uh, he is common, so he'll get two useful items and he'll have a horse. So that's important to know. Um, an old horse or a half-starved pony. Well, he'll have an old horse. So his mount, um, is there a place for a mount? Well, traveling gear, old horse. And then we need his war gear. Mm, starting gear. Well, I think we're going to do a short spear. Or a spear. doesn't have a lot of strength, so I'm going to say a short spear. Okay, so the short spear has damage, I believe, of 3. It does, and also the injury is going to be 14. So it's kind of low, but whatever. We can always pump that up with a, for, uh, a reward. Um, the load is 2. And it can be thrown. So I think this is going to be, um, I think that's going to be probably how uh, he uses it. And uh, he's going to have an axe. Now, what type of friggin' axe is he going to have? Um, a long hafted axe has a three load, and it looks as if it, 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 it has 
pretty good stats. So I'm going to say that we're going to have a long hafted axe. Okay, so the long hafted axe does uh, six damage. And then the injury is 1820. And then the load is three. So he's still, if he's got five out of his 22. Uh, and then are there any notes for this? Yes, it can be. Uh, yeah, all right. So it can be used two-handed. <sighs> all right, armor. It's certainly moving along a bit faster than the other one. This is virtues. So we want to get to cultural... Uh, well, we're not dealing with cultural virtues, but here is the weapons and the armor. So is there anything else that... No, two-handed. Okay, so armor. He could wear a male shirt, but that's nine. And if he wears a male shirt, that's going to give him three dice but a load of nine. Now he's a warden, and that's certainly significant for him, but nine plus five, he's really pushing his endurance because he's going to be wearing that. But he also has a low endurance, so if he's not taking care of himself, he's probably going to be more in the front. So I'm going to give him a leather corslet. So once again, a leather um, a leather corslet. The protection it gives is uh, 2D, and its load is a significant 6. I may pump that up. I mean, I can give him a helm, and so that gives an extra, but he can take it off. And that is kind of, so yeah, he's he's got a helm. So he's got a helm, and that is going to be a plus one D, um, and that load is four. I don't think I'm going to give him a shield because he'll probably be using his two-handed axe. Now, if we go back to the rewards and virtues, I would like to roll for this list of rewards. So I have the list in front of me, and I'm just going to roll for the starting rewards. I'm not going to kind of overthink it. I got a three, so that's a fell weapon. So the injury rating goes up by two. Um, and I'm going to make his fell weapon uh, the axe. Fell long H axe. Uh, and so that's going to... Um, and I'm just going to mark down here uh, 20 slash 22. And that should make sense. Uh, it's uh, one for valor and one for virtue. And here under virtues, we're going to roll for virtues. So rolling for virtues, five. Uh, nimbleness, uh, raise your parry rating by one. Raise your parry rating by one, nimbleness. So, nimbleness, um, plus one parry rating. So we're gonna go up to our parry and we're gonna put that to 17. So I'm just gonna make a note to make sure that I know that it's gone from 16 plus one. All right, so there we go, all right. 
Now the points. 15 points to spend. So I'm going to do what I did before in the other video. I'm going to look away and through the magic of editing, I will come back with all of my thoughts. Okay, so uh, the sun is starting to come out. It's been a pretty dreary day. Started off with quite a downpour that lasted most of the morning and now it's starting to clear up so you'll probably see a difference uh, with the visuals. So I, I've looked at this very carefully and I think that my combat proficiency for axes really does need to go up so that's worth the four points to spend. The strength, the target number is 16. I, I really should have some athletics I believe. Uh, so I think that that's worth a two-point upgrade, and I think hunting needs to go up by um, up to two dice as well. Um, it's going to be hard enough to hit 16, and so I'm tempted to put it into awareness because I've already got the bonus there, but I, I just don't... I, I, I think that it's much more... It's, it's much better to have athletics in hunting just in case and that I, and even though I don't have um, uh, karma deal karma well, damn, damn okay so whoever she is I probably look it up <gasps> oh my goodness what's your damn name Carmarel, Carmarel. I am. I'm going to put a little sticker that just tells me it's Carmarel. Okay, so uh, Carmarel and um, we go go back. There we go. <laughs> Oops. Okay. So, oh my goodness. All right. So Giles. Um, so I think Giles should have athletics and hunting, and so it's worth those uh, two and two. So that's eight points that I've spent so far. Uh, and then nine, ten for scan. I think that scan is something that also needs, I, we need it as a party. Uh, and I think that explore is something that was very lacking uh, before. And so I think that it's worth the five points spent. But I think for close combat, because... Uh, there's a fell axe involved now. Both characters have fell um, uh, weapons. And remember, I rolled for that. And nimbleness uh, with a plus one parry rating, I think that that's going to be a positive as well. And that's uh, one of the reasons why I wanted to go into athletics. I think that it just makes kind of thematic sense. So I'm just going to start moving those dots over to make sure that they're now in place and set uh, but that just gives us an idea of what I actually spent and to kind of justify the, the cost. So the load that I'm wearing at the moment is 10, 15. I don't like that but it is what it is. The endurance at the moment is 22, and uh, the current hope is 16, which is quite good, actually. Um, and the fellowship score, we'll figure that out later. Skill points and stuff like that, and adventuring points. Uh, I think everybody starts with one, I believe, uh, but I'll check that later on. Um, and he needs two things that are um, kind of those specialty items. So useful items. He gets two. Um, well, certainly uh, a knife, a cooking, uh, like a uh, hunting knife, I think is, is definitely one of those. Hunting knife. And, I mean, these are examples, right? So I'm sure that there's more of a list somewhere else, but I'm just going to try to stick to this. Another useful item. Um, uh, you know what? I'm going to give him a fine pipe. 
So I think that's about it for this character. I think we're pretty much done. I, I'm not going to give him a shield, as I said before. I, I just don't think that it makes sense uh, for him to to have a, a short spear. So that's six foot. Um, he's got a long hafted axe, probably on his back. Um, maybe it's the other way around. Uh, uh, that the spear is on his back in case he needs to throw it. Um, he's got this uh, axe. Um, uh, and I think that if we're looking at uh, the other stats, I think athletics with two is good. I think hunting is good. Uh, song, well, really doesn't need it. Craft, it probably come in useful. Um, the insight and the healing, I, I think that those are both good. I need to look at this again because I see that we're down one um, uh, favored. So I'm just going to go back to the Man of Bree before we close off. So he had a choice between insight and riddle. And, and insight was a given because we rolled on, uh, we rolled on the character's life path. Um, I think that I have to mark that down somewhere. That, so in Warden, I'm going to mark down that he is a gate warden. There's my dog. Um, yeah, so I, I mean, I, I think that this is good. Uh, he's he's had a job somehow or other. These guys are going to have to have met and, and come up with a backstory. I'm going to roll on the major events just to kind of close off and just to see. Just to see. But I'm going to reserve, I'm go, I've been using these, so I'm going to use the, oh. I'm so disappointed that they were messed up in the printing. I'm sure that Free League is just beside themselves because of the 11 and the 1. I know it's just a psychological thing, but still. Uh, so I'm going to use the old one and see what comes up with the major events. I may or may not use it. Eight. Simple. Uh, your innocence has protected you from fear and doubt, but also made you blind to the necessity of getting ready for what is coming. Increase your hope by two points. Choose two of your favored skills. They are no longer fav favored. <sighs> so the... the, the so you have an increase of hope by two points. That's always nice because you can use those to uh, uh, to help you out with an increased die or two or a die. Uh, but you have to choose two of your favorite skills and they're no longer favored. Well, that would be healing and probably awareness. Is that worth it? To be simple. Choose two of... So the tagline is, if simple folk are free from care and fear, simple they will be, and we must be secret to keep them so. Your innocence has protected you, but you're a gate warden. Maybe you're a complacent gate war warden. You're like in it for other reasons. I'm surprised that there isn't a place where you can kind of mark up more stuff. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I'm going to, I am going to do this. I'm going to say it's, he's a simple, simple. And that he gets plus two hope. Um, and... Uh, so that's, so plus two hopes. So I'm just going to mark that down and I'm going to bring his hope up to 18 and I'm going to take away the healing. 
Um, and I'm going to... Oh, but I wanted that insight. So I'm going to take away awareness. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think that I, I think that I can work with that character and, and make it make a, a little more sense. So there you go. Now we've got the two characters. So um, we have Giles Hedgden, uh, who is a relatively simple gate warden who has come across our heroine, uh, Carmarill, and uh, I will flush out a little bit of the details and then let's see if I come back with these two characters um, in some type of uh, adventure, solo adventure, that um, I can kind of roll through, but I, I want to do it in, in a kind of faster way than what happened today. So I'm going to put on my thinking cap and I'm going to read the rules and read the book uh, again and uh, see if I can give you something that might be a little bit different than what I normally do. So take care uh, and thank you for watching. Bye. Next. Hey. Come on, puppy. Come on.